Our tale begins on a breezy afternoon where our protagonist, a nervously charming youth named Sumrit, is embroiled in a downright tumultuous situation. Picture this quaint scene. Sumrit, an introverted teenager with an overwhelming sense of reservation, finds himself confined in his small sanctuary, bathed in the golden glow of the afternoon sunlight, filtering through the aged curtains. His trembling hands tightly grip a carefully curated bouquet of roses, each petal a symbol of his burgeoning affection for his one true love, Gauri. Stepping into his room, one is greeted with the faint yet distinct scent of roses and an undercurrent of palpable fear, the room acting as his rehearsal stage. Before the mirror, Sumrit takes a deep breath and utters to his reflection, Gauri, I, I have something to tell you. He falters, corrects and tries again. Gori, my feelings for you, I can't keep them a secret anymore. His heart pounds louder with each word spoken, the mirror silently witnessing his struggle, reflecting a boy on the precipice of manhood, his anxiety a testament to the depth of his feelings. Calm down, Sumrit, he whispers to his reflection. You've this, you love her, she needs to know. His words are shaky but determined, and yet how different it is to face the mirror, for it, unlike his cherished gowry, does not send him spiralling into a vortex of stuttered words and nervous fumbling. Just, just be honest, be genuine, he reminds himself, staring into the mirror intensely. But oh, the cruel irony. The mirror, unlike his beloved gowry, doesn't intimidate him into a blabbering mess. In the vibrant heart of an Indian apartment complex, an intriguing tale is weaving its course. At the epicenter of this tale is Sumrit, a young man brimming over with charisma and grace. He, along with his boisterous group of friends, each distinct in their own ways, yet bound by a common mission, are plotting a plan that is both emotionally stirring and deeply personal. The mission revolves around their dear friend Sumrit and a girl named Gauri, a girl who, without even knowing, has captivated Sumrit's heart. Traditionally, their summer holidays are a time of fun and games, filled with laughter that echoes through the complex. This summer, however, things have taken a romantic turn. Turn. The friends are determined to help Sumrit propose to Gauri, a task that appears simple enough on paper, but is rife with unpredictable variables. The apartment has transformed into a war room, with plans being drawn and strategies being formulated. Each member of the group has a role to play. Remember to smile, Sumrit, and look into her eyes when you speak advises Arjun, the self-declared relationship expert of the group. Every move is being meticulously planned and practiced. Laughter, teasing and the occasional nervous jitters fill the air. The excitement is palpable, the anticipation infectious, the plan seems simple enough. Sumrit will gather his courage, delve deep into his heart and express his feelings to Gauri. Following this heartfelt confession, he will present her with a bouquet of flowers, a tangible representation of his affections, and then wait with bated breath for her reply. The room is filled with camaraderie as everyone rallies around Sumrit. His friend's encouragement fuels his courage and the depth of his feelings for Gori strengthens his resolve. However, the unpredictable nature of love adds a thrilling edge to their well-laid plans. Who knows what could possibly go wrong? It seems like a significant event is going on. On this extraordinary day, Sumrit, our unsuspecting protagonist, is a tempest of feelings. His heart has formed an orchestra with adrenaline beating an unpredictable tempo that reflects his nervousness. Sweat beads form on his palms, the physical evidence of the buzzing energy making its way through his veins. His mind is a war zone of thought, spinning with an unimaginable number of potential outcomes. He envisions Gauri's response, her smile, her possible astonishment, e, and he feels his courage falter. Barely audible, he whispers to himself, You can do this, Sumrit. She loves you. Remember? He takes a deep breath, clenches his sweaty palms and steps forward. The space between them sizzles with expectation. As he meets Gori's gaze, he's confronted with a sea of tranquility, further unsettling his inner chaos. His rehearsed words, the lines he had polished to perfection in front of the mirror, they all desert him in the crucial moment. I, I mean, Gori, you know, he starts, stumbles and fumbles. No, that's not it. I... <sighs> He trails off as his sentences turn into a mess of meaningless words. Berates himself internally. Get it together, Sumrit. This is not how you rehearsed it. His words become a jumbled symphony, and he practically invents a new language right there on the spot. Despite his mind screaming at him to make sense, his heart takes over, turning his well-rehearsed proposal into an outpour of raw, unrefined emotions. 
Just when Sumrit thought his plate was overflowing with concerns, a sudden unforeseen rendezvous escalates his discomfort. An unanticipated visitor, Gori's mother, strides into the room. Her eyes, an uncanny blend of curiosity and doubt, make Sumrit feel like a cornered animal under the relentless scrutiny of a predator. His once confident demeanor wavers, the audacious heartbeat in his chest escalating, resonating with his rising anxiety. As Gauri's mother enters the room, she directs a question towards him. Sumrit, isn't it? I've heard a lot about you. How have you been? Sumrit, flustered by her unexpected appearance, stammers. I... I've been well, thank you, ma'am. The dialogue, though innocuous on the surface, surface, does nothing to still the storm brewing within him. His meticulously crafted proposal for Gauri, which until a minute ago was imprinted on his mind, dissolves into oblivion. His painstakingly chosen words, his earnest feelings, evaporate instantly as he struggles to maintain his composure. He attempts to steer the conversation away from his intentions, desperately seeking refuge behind trivial topics, engaging in small talk. But his fidgeting hands and nervous laughter betray his unease. The suspense is taking its toll on him, and his plans are now a distant memory. Sumrit's predicament is far from over, unbeknownst to him, the most unexpected twist is still lurking around the corner and waiting to... Gori maintains her composure amid the chaos, her tranquil and collected demeanor creating a stark contrast to the frantic scene unraveling in front of her. Sumrit, a bundle of nerves, continues to prattle ceaselessly, a blatant display of his anxiety. His restless eyes, stuttering words and clammy palms epitomize the image of anxiety. Gori, on the other hand, retains a steady gaze and an effortless grace. Her body language reveals no signs of discomfort. Sumrit's anxious chatter serves as a constant hum in the background of her thoughts as she listens patiently. Every word, every, every pause, every stutter, she absorbs them all without interrupting him, her tranquility forming an unseen barrier between them. Then Gori decides to add an unexpected twist. With a mischievous twinkle in her eyes, she discards the option of offering a soothing phrase or a comforting gesture and decides to have a little fun instead. What if I play the one who's completely baffled? She muses, a glimmer of amusement evident in her eyes. She decides to feign confusion, to pretend to be lost in the maze of Sumrit's words. She acts as if she can't grasp a single word, not even a syllable that he has uttered. Gori, who always comprehends everything, suddenly lost. This should be interesting, she thinks, a hint of laughter in her voice as she continues her theatrical act. This small dose of playfulness introduces a dash of humor to the whole scenario, and the thought of Gori not understanding him only escalates Sumrit's anxiety. And, oh, the expression of sheer terror on Sumrit's. But then the unexpected happens. On a day that seemed as normal as any other day, the course of events takes an unusual turn. Gori, who had perpetually maintained a poker face, does something completely unforeseen. She cracks a smile, a ray of sunshine piercing through a heavy cloud. Her smile then morphs into a laugh, a laugh that resonates with genuine joy and surprise. Sumrit stands there like a deer caught in the headlights, utterly bewildered, taken aback. He had braced himself for rejection, possibly prepared for a tearful goodbye, but this reaction was beyond his expectations. Gori steps forward, taking control of the situation. She extends her hand, gently relieving the bouquet of roses from Sumrit's trembling hand. Her face is a canvas, painted with an infectious joy, and there's a newfound twinkle in her eye, a twinkle that mirrors the hope in Sumrit's. It is then she decides to delve deeper into her feelings for him, breaking the silence that had settled in the room. Sumrit, she begins, her voice soft yet firm. I've known you for as long as I can remember, and throughout our journey, I've seen what you've become. The kind, humble, and generous person who never fails to put others before himself. The man who sees beauty in the ordinary, who finds joy in the simplest things. I've cherished every moment spent with you, and the more time I spend, the more I realize that I don't want this to end. I want to be with you, always. The room is filled with suspense as she takes a deep breath, ready to let out the words she'd been holding in. I've been wanting to do this for a long time, she admits, her eyes sparkling with determination. So here it goes. Sumrit, I think I like you. And then, with all eyes on her, she astonishes everyone even further. The surprises for the day weren't over yet, she asks. Will you take me out for ice cream, maybe? Leaving the onlookers in awe and anticipation of his response. 
The journey of Sumrit from a shy teenager to a love-struck Romeo, albeit a blabbering one, is a roller coaster ride of emotions. The suspense, the anticipation, the unexpected twist, and finally the sweet culmination of his feelings in Gauri's proposal. It's a tale that's as heartwarming as it is humorous. In the end, Sumrit is left with more than just a yes from Gauri. He has a story to tell, a memory to cherish, because sometimes in the face of love, it's okay to be a little tongue-tied as long as you have someone who understands someone like Gauri.